It's a Thursday, which means that it's our normal update day, or rather, normally is our normal update day for Vanguard and Warzone. And across the last 72 hours or so, we've had multiple updates go out for both Vanguard and Warzone. Now, this at one point was actually slated to be our final update of Season 1, but that's no longer the case. And we'll expand upon that in a coming video here on Monday when we talk about the sort of end of Season 1 and what's still on deck now that we have another two weeks added to the tail end here. But for now, I want to take a little bit of time to discuss these changes we saw today, as well as what we saw the last 24 to 48 to 72 hours that you should be aware of. As we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Like any of these changes that were made? Anything in particular really stand out to you? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Vanguard, Warzone, and who knows, maybe even some Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 content in the near future. If you're part of that nearly 70% of viewers who are not subscribed, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, let's jump into it. Let's start out with the basic stuff here, the stuff that we're guaranteed every single Thursday, those being your playlist updates for both Vanguard and Warzone. Starting on the Vanguard side of things, introduced this week was DOS House 24-7, so you end up having the ability to grind out a ton of camos here at that, but you won't see things like shipment in that as well. We've seen that ship house playlist where you had both of them, but right now it's only the 24-7 for DOS House. If I were to guess, that may mean we see shipment 24-7, but for right now, DOS House 24-7. Then we have Trifecta Domination, which is domination on three select modes. We have Blitz TDM, which is just your upped player counts in Blitz formats in TDM on all kinds of different maps. We have Pacific Party. That one's returning. We have Rocket Hill Duos. We haven't seen this one for a little bit of time, so if you guys don't remember what this is, it's Champion Hill, but it's focused on rocket gun sets. So it is something that you're going to see a lot more explosive action. I'll see myself out for that pun. And then we finally have Champion Hill Trios as well. Now, that's the Vanguard side of things. But on the Warzone side of things, we saw the removal of Vanguard Royale Quads and Rebirth Resurgence trios. Instead, now added in is Vanguard Resurgence for quads and Rebirth Resurgence duos. But then your things like solos, duos, trios, and quads of regular BR on Caldera, that stays around. Plunder is again trios this week, and we still, of course, have Rebirth Resurgence quads. That being your sort of constant here as of recently, but those are your playlists on offer for both Vanguard and Warzone as of this week. However, a couple of hours after this playlist went live, we actually ended up seeing Sledgehammer tweet about some amazing amended patch notes and another update that went out as of today for Vanguard. This update being a sort of amendment to the mid-season update, but as of today, we ended up seeing some spawns adjusted, some perks adjusted, and some other things coming as well. Now, for this, we ended up seeing the spawns of Paradise in particular first adjusted. That being something that was based off of community feedback. A lot of players reported spawning next to enemies, and that's something that, having gone for long shots as of recently, finishing out the Atomic Camo grind, I definitely noticed that as well. It's one of the biggest maps in the entire entire game, but you'd still spawn in domination, at least where I was playing next to enemies. You'd still spawn at the same flag as the enemy team. And so therefore it made for a very awkward and very unbreakable spawn trap at points, but it also resolved issues with players falling through the map and invisible collision to prevent spawn trapping from one point to the other. So definitely a nice adjustment here with that. And I'm glad some action was taken on that, but we also ended up seeing the perks of fortified as well as cold blooded adjusted as well. For this fortified was the main target target here for this and what changed, in which it now adds protection for the Mortar Barrage, the War Machine, the Flame Knot Explosions, the Ammo Box Explosions, Gammon Bombs, and Satchel Charges. Now, those are some big changes and some great ones that actually does make it a little bit more viable now in Hardcore as well. Gammon Bombs probably being the biggest thing you'd encounter out of all of those in Hardcore in particular, where it was instantaneously a one hit. You could just spam that in DOS House, Shipment, whatever the case may be, but those now being protected a little bit against this with Fortified Equipped. Now, Fortified, though, also lost some protection here, where it no longer protects against the Goliath, the Glide Bomb, the Bombing Run, the Fire Bombing Run, and direct hits from launchers. So, interesting trade-offs here with that and some adjustments to Fortified, but then Cold-Blooded also saw a protection against dogs. So, kind of adding some additional protection, whereas you might not necessarily have it beforehand. And that's actually something that makes it very useful. I know that whenever at least playing the smaller maps and everything, especially when I was going for the streaks in one game with the Panzerfaust, I ended up dying via just spawning next to a dog and it would just immediately attack you. So cold-blooded is actually now a very viable option as well in that sense. So two big changes with that. We also saw that we had some weapon and attachment bugs fixed out as well. Some user interface and visual effects fixed out as well. And also an issue with control in private matches where it would end prematurely when a codcaster disconnected. That I think was one of the big issues with the CDL here as of recently in which they were trying to scrim and get games ready. But it seemed like that was fixed for the kickoff as 
well, but now it seems like for the entirety of control and private matches. Nice changes to the mode overall. Now, changing gears a little bit, we did see as of yesterday, last night, we had an update for Warzone, which fixed a many number of bugs here. And one in particular that was honestly a very big one is that they ended up adjusting a lot of the issues that would cause you to be frozen within the buy station. I can't tell you how many times that has happened to me, and a lot of times it's actually gotten me killed. Probably you as well in that regard. And so now they state that it could happen on rare occasions, but they think for the most part, they've fixed it out almost entirely. So that's something that fingers crossed should be taken off the list but again in the mix with a bunch of other different bug fixes that we'd seen introduced as of last night's update they also did update their trello board in which they have a bunch of different investigating issues right now going on so fingers crossed that some of these get knocked off the board by the time season two rolls around if not we may be seeing a larger update here for season two take out more bugs a little bit later rather than sooner which again i hope is sooner we all don't want any bugs here we want a playable experience that is flawless in that regard so fingers crossed but right now that is where we're at here with this so some smaller stuff in the grand scheme of things but some big strides made i think in trying to improve the quality of life but we're still getting there we still got a little bit of ways to go but it's nice to see these updates roll out as they do but that's the update that we ended up getting as of today and what you can expect to see across vanguard and warzone here if you haven't jumped in just yet or that you may not have seen at surface level when you got on since last night and a couple of days before but that said that's the updates and that's the video but before we wrap everything up i want to let you guys know about my friends over at gamer advantage we recently talked about how they launched their new suppressor lenses this being your sort of new mid-level entry into their blue light glasses this is something that is still three times better than anything you'll find on Amazon, but you can still end up getting that full eight plus hour coverage if you're a streamer, you're a content creator or something like that. But if you're somebody that just looks at your phone, works at your desk, or whatever the case may be for anywhere between zero to four hours of screen time a day, this is really geared towards you. This is the new base level lens that you can end up using, and it's something that works out tremendously. Now, I've used Gamer Advantage glasses for about a year now at this point, and truly, I tell you, I don't have a single second guess here with this. If you guys want to invest in your vision health over the long run, Gamer Advantage is head and shoulders the way to go. For me, having used plenty of blue light glasses in the past, from Amazon, your generic pairs, to where we are now at Gamer Advantage, I wouldn't take anything other than Gamer Advantage. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market, and if you have a prescription, they can end up working to custom tailor your lenses specifically for you, and your insurance can help cover that cost. So if you guys want to learn more, you guys want to check anything out, feel free to check the link in the description below, and if you pick anything up, make sure you use code ESPRESSO to get yourself 10% off your entire order. But that said, that is now where we're going to wrap up the video, so let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys like these changes made within Vanguard or Warzone? Do you guys think that there are bigger things coming? And if so, what do you think those will be? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below, but if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, and of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, Vanguard, and anything COD-related, whether that be Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 talk here in the future, or anything from retrospective content, we got you covered. So if you guys are interested, hit that subscribe button. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.